Hello everyone, it's Melanie. So today I've just come to share a little journal with you. Um, and this is a journal that I've made that I'm actually going to use. And I hope to add photos to it and other ephemera and things that I've collected along the way. Also with this journal, I wanted to use up some of the, the things that I've been sent um, by my YouTube friends and Facebook friends from the Junk Journal Junkies group because I had quite a lot of lot of things that they've all sent me and I really wanted to use some of them. So um, this journal I've did I did it with um, a sort of a fold where the cover is bent round or folded round um, and then folded over this way. I did do some score lines along there and um, make a proper fold. Um, I actually covered it with some art paper that I got from Paper Chase. And the really cool thing about this paper is that once I had Mod Podged it on, I had used a cereal package underneath for the cover. And as I Mod Podged it on, the... Um, pattern from the cereal packaging which you can see there and there um, and there and also on the back came through it, it sort of came through um, the paper which I really liked so I used um, two layers of Mod Podge matte and then I also used the Mod Podge gloss just to give it that nice shiny effect um, it has two signatures and just onto the signatures, onto the hemp cord rather, I've added a little charm that Crafty Irene sent me and these are also some beads that she sent me and this is a little flower that Yvonne sent me so thank you for those. Um, this is some seam binding that Laurie, she's Laurie just a girl from the bay, sent me. So thank you for that. And I love this red. <laughs> so it just unwraps like that. And I just made, I just put a, a small eyelet there to cut, put the seam binding through that. And then on the inside... Um, the inside I've used just brown packing paper which I've Mod Podged that on as well and I love the creased effect that it gave. This is a little pocket that's made from sewing pattern paper which I've inked up and put some washi tape there and that's a little Kaiser Craft tag. Uh, this is an idea I actually saw on Michelle's channel, The Paper Addiction. Um, and then the first page is I've used some of the Tim Holtz wallflower paper. So that's the first page. I absolutely love this paper. <laughs> and staple to tag there. Then we've got a doily. Um, this is some old vintage paper that I had stored away in a cupboard somewhere that had gone a bit gone a bit brown. This is a little paper bag. There isn't anything in that. Um, and this is the first picture that I've put in and that's a picture of my son Zach. Um, um, and this is another idea that I got from another YouTuber. I think it might be Miss Crafty Cats 11. And what she had done with some pictures is she had cut out some dictionary pages and then I and she'd inked them up and she'd put them underneath the picture just to add a little bit of extra to it. Um, then this is uh, the film strip washi tape. I think that's Tim Holtz. Uh, that's just a little tuck spot. Um, this is a book page and um, quite a lot of the 
things that I've added in here are from a, an ephemera pack that Nikki Stora was, uh, she was selling some on Facebook a while ago and I bought a pack from her. So this is one of the pages from, that was in the pack. So thank you, Nikki. Um, this is a tag that Leslie sent me, which I've paper clipped on here. And then this is a, a one of the playing cards. They're the Tim Holtz Lost Relatives cards. Um, that's just a few plain pages of lined paper. Um, a dictionary page. And that's the middle of the first signature. It's just some more lined paper. Another piece of the Tim Holtz paper, which really love that image. <laughs> um, that's another page from a book. And I've sort of done a bit of a theme of flowers and birds in here. So um, this paper is all about um, different plants, this uh, book page. It's another page and here I've used some coffee dyed paper and just made a little banner and stamped You Are My Sunshine. Um, I've added a paper clip with um, the fibres, I've, all the fibres I've used are from a Kayser Craft pack. Uh, that's a tab that Leslie sent me. Um, there's another tuck spot there. They're for us. They're for us from some uh, Kaiser Craft tickets. That's the other side of the bag, paper bag. Um, another doily. That's another tag that Leslie sent me. Piece of the Tim Holtz paper. Um, that's another tuck spot that Leslie sent me. Uh, it's just some graph paper. And everything has been inked up in vintage photo. This is uh, paper from the DIY shop. I've added a little Tim Holtz paper clip there with some more fibres. This is an old postcard that also came in the ephemera pack that I bought from Nikki. Piece of coffee dyed paper. This is another, oops, sorry, that's another piece of paper from the ephemera pack from Nikki. So this is still a work in progress. I hope to add a lot more photos to this and different things, journaling. Um, this is a tuck spot. This is um, from a cheese that we had at Christmas and I've just stapled that in there. More graph paper, dictionary paper. This is an envelope that I've coffee dyed and that's just a tag, a really nice tag that I had at Christmas and I made a little pocket. Uh, this is the flap piece of the envelope that I've just stuck down and made a pocket and I've put a paper clip there with some more fibres and in here two more pieces um, that came in the ephemera pack from Nikki. I love how crinkly that sounds. <laughs> it's a dictionary page, a bit more of a graph paper Another piece of Tim Holtz um, paper. I've made a pocket here with a tag. And this is a 
sentiment stamp that Crafty Irene sent me and a bird stamp. And another doily, the other end of the book paper. Um, this is also from a little photo from the ephemera pack from Nikki um, with a Tim Holtz paper clip. And graph paper. Um, and this is po another postcard that I found in a charity shop, which I've just clipped up there. That was a bit big to, to actually go into the journal. And then underneath that, I've added some little brown paper bags. And in here we have um, another tag from Nikki. And also another old vintage photo. So, and then, then it just folds up and wrap the seam binding around that again. So that's my journal at the moment. And also just show you little sneak peek of another journal that I'm working on at the moment which um, I've added all the got all the signatures in here so far um, but it's lots of <laughs> pockets and tags to be added to that at the moment so hopefully I'll be able to do another another video of that pretty soon and uh, so thanks for watching and I really appreciate all your comments and um, hope to speak to you again soon. Okay, bye.